اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و اہل الاختم باللسانی جفق القولی حمیل رب العالمین السلام علیکم ایبیون آئی ہیپ آل آف یو ارڈو انگ گریٹ ٹوڈے انشاءاللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ای مینی ایکسرسائز آف وٹ وی ہیو لرنڈ سو فار اینڈ ایڈ ایس گوئنگ ٹو بی ریگارڈنگ دا کنورجنز دیٹ وی ڈیڈ آف اسما فرام نکرا ٹو مارفا اینڈ فرام ماسکلن ٹو feminine okay so that's what we are going to practice in this lesson inshallah uh, you can turn it into a quiz as well just uh, note the word uh, and then you can make its declensions or derivatives in the way that i tell you first and that's how you can uh, you know turn it into a quiz and then match the answers later on and if you are not too comfortable with that of course you can always first watch the first session or the first uh, practice table of how i uh, go with things all right and then you can practice the next words again all by yourself okay so that's how you can do it okay so our first word is writer all right and the arabic translation for this word is katibun okay and now what you can do is that you can make a, a table just like this all right and make the columns for rafana sabjar and wahid masculine nakra wahid masculine marfa so here you would be making the marfa forms the alif lam forms all right you're going to prefix this word kathibun with alif lam with al okay and then you're going to proceed with the rafana sabjar forms next comes the row for feminine wahid nakra all right so this is something that we practiced in the previous lesson of how you are going to convert a masculine ism into its feminine counterpart and then lastly you are going to make a smart form again all right so if you want you can make a table and you can write the various forms all right and that's how you are going to uh, turn this mini uh, this mini practice session into a quiz and then you can match the answers and i think that is a more productive way of practicing okay for those who are not comfortable with that i can continue with the explanations and of course you can uh, i can walk you through it inshallah okay so without further ado let's begin with our practice session okay so as you can see first of all we have the uh, the word katibun all right which means a writer and it is the as you can see it has tanween it has no al and of course this is wahid because i'm telling you okay we haven't done the plurals and singulars yet so i'm telling you that this is wahid and of course you know that this is masculine why because there is no reason for it to be feminine over here there are five reasons for an ism to be grammatically feminine and we have done that all right and none of those situations fit here okay so this is grammatically masculineism katibun and this tanween tells us that this is nakra and that it is rafa because of this un sound now make its nasab form what does it become it becomes katiban double sabar or double fatha notice the post tanween alif, alif as well next we have the jar form we have katibin how do we work that out because of these two kasras over here okay so and that's how you have to practice you have to practice it with the masculine wahid nakra asma first first the rafa then the sabinjar so katibun katibun katibin okay what's next then you have the marfa form how are you going to convert this katibun into alif lam form or more of lam form you're going to do that simply by uh, you know by adding the prefix of al and converting this tanween into single harakat of the same arab okay so katibun becomes al katib because remember tanween cannot ever coexist with al okay because al means the and tanween means uh, nakra okay so or simply a uh, or an and of course they can there cannot ever be the a uh, book it's illogical doesn't make any sense it's irrational doesn't make any sense cannot ever exist okay so it's either going to be a book or the book never both so that's the concept here that's the reason tanween which means a uh, and al which means the cannot ever coexist okay 
So first you're going to make Rafa form, then Nasab form, Al Katiba, Jar form, Al Katibi. Okay. I hope this is clear. So how are you going to say it? You're going to say Kitabun, Kitabun, Kitabin, Al Katibu, Al Katiba, Al Katibi. Next, you're going to convert the word Katibun into its feminine counterpart. And how you are going to do it is something that we have already covered in the previous lesson. All right. So how are you going to do it? You have the word katibun, katibun. All right. You replace this tanleen with fatha. Okay. And you add the round ta. That is it. Katibun. Okay. So it becomes katibun. Okay, that's how. And what that's what I've written here. Kate button. Now this tandine of un sound tells us that this is rafa, and this tandine shows us that it is that it is nakra as well. Okay, so kate button, kate button, kate button. Okay, and notice that I did not write any post tandine alif here in the nasa form because uh, there are certain scenarios where this post and mean alif doesn't get added again i have done a lesson on this and you can go back and watch that if you want okay next you are going to convert this katibatun into its more of alarm form so al katibatu of course you're going to replace the tanween with single haircut and you're going to prefix you're going to add this prefix of al so Katibatun becomes al katibatu, al katibata for nasa and al katibati. All right. So this is what. Now our next word is salehun. Okay. So let me write it down. Salehun, salehun. It means um, pious. Okay. So what you can do is that you can uh, pause the screen and make its rafa nasab jar forms for wahid nakra masculine for then make its marfa form then you can convert it into feminine nakra and then convert it into marfa form all right pause the screen write down your answers or simply just say the declension all right and then get back to the next screen where you can inshallah match the answers okay all right so i hope that you got all the answers right okay so for rafa we are going to get a bit fast from here so we have salihun salihan salihin then we make it smartphone form it becomes as salihu as saliha as salihi i really hope that you said as salihu and not al salihu because remember sad is the letter that has the capability to silence the lam tarif okay this uh, is hamza and this is lam tarif this is called lam tarif and this is called hamza tul basal this is something that we have already covered in the previous lessons all right next salihatun we converted this salihun into feminine so salihatun salihatan salihatin next we convert it into marfa as salihatu as salihatta as salihati all right so i hope that you got all of these right inshallah in the next lesson inshallah we are going to start off with the last property or the last characteristic of an ism and that is about its number i hope that you have understood all the concepts that i have given up till now and of course if there is anything that you need some more clarification on or you need some concepts more further simplified then of course you can always reach out to me and i'll get back to you making it simpler inshallah okay so till the next lesson barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al-hakim allah hafiz